god, and you needed a place to rest your weary head after a long day's work, where would you go? Apparently to 111 Central Park North, where according to its latest marketing campaign, if God had an apartment, this is where it would be. And if you're feeling a little flirty and fresh, Come live at 25 Broad in the Financial District, or FIDI, as its fresh and flirty marketing campaign so describes. And for you artists out there, let's blur the line between viewing art and sleeping in it. At 650 6th Avenue, you've got yourself your own space to curate. The competition's absolutely intense out there. So you have to differentiate yourself in some way. You can't just rely upon your building at the corner being noticed by the people who live in that particular part of town. Fernanda Foreman has been in the New York City real estate industry for approximately 30 years, and she's watched the changes of New York City's real estate marketing campaigns. This particular trend is the very beginning of a brand new marketing idea that is going to be implemented around the world, but starting with New York City. Let's go for a couple more, shall we? If you're having trouble finding yourself in our fair city, just buy a place at Gramercy, where in the world of Philip Stark, you're sure to discover yourself. And even though it's Getting cold outside, why not live the beach life here in New York at 60 Beach Street in Tribeca? For more New York City real estate marketing absurdities and to see the death of a cute little beaver, check out this video cast in the archives link on our site. A little slice of absurdity that aired back on September 11th. I'm Rachel Natalie Klein. See you next time on Into the Box.